This program was given as an assignment during your algorithm sessions. So what this program expects us to do is the user is going to enter a series of numbers. They can be positive, they can be negative, but when the user enters zero, okay, the program should end up printing how many positive numbers were entered, how many negative numbers were entered. So in order to solve that particular problem, I am defining one variable called as the number, which is going to read the number a user is going to enter. How many positive numbers the user enters? This is going to be in a variable called as positive count. How many negative numbers the user enters? This is going to be in a variable called as negative count. Then what I'm asking the user is enter a series of numbers. Okay, he can enter positive, he can enter negative. But the minute the user enters zero, I'm going to print the sum of, sorry, the count of positive and count of negative numbers. So in order to do this particular program, I shall go ahead and use the do while loop. The advantage of a do while loop is, I don't have to give the number any initial value. I can just leave it to take any garbage value. So what I'm going to do here is, I am first going to scan f the value entered by the user. So what is, let's say the user enters some number here. Then based on the number or based on the value of the number, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to say if number greater than zero, then I'm going to say pause count is equal to pause count plus plus. That means I'm increasing the positive count by one. Don't use the else condition here because if you use the just the else condition, when you enter zero, it is going to increase the negative count by one. So you should be sure that the number is less than zero. Try using just an else and see what error you will get in this particular program. So else if number less than zero, I'm going to say negative count plus plus and a semicolon here, a semicolon here. And then finally, what I'm going to do here is I am going to read the number, check if it is positive, check if it is negative and increase their respective counts. As long as the number not equal to zero. So the minute the number is zero, I'm going to come out of this particular loop and I'm going to say positive count as this variable value, negative count as this variable value. So it's a simple program. So I'm just going to keep reading positive and negative numbers. Okay. And the minute the user enters zero, I'm going to print the count of positive and count of negative numbers. So let's try to run this particular program and see what happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is let me enter 1, 2, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. Okay, then followed by 0. So here what I have done is I have entered 2 positive, 3 negative numbers and a 0. So the answer should be 2 positive and 3 negative numbers. Let's see if that's what is coming up. Okay, so we seem to be fine. It is showing positive count as 2, negative count as 3. So this was a simple program to help you find the count of positive and count of negative numbers entered by the user as long as the user does not enter 0. The minute he enters 0, we're just going to print the count of positive and negative numbers.